Hi guys, Aunt Lizzie here. I want to show you how I take my cords up. Um, because I like it to look like it's come out of the factory. So, we can make this little thing. You know the, the hard pages? that The sort that come out of magazines or things you get in the post. You know, things. No, we won't be cutting Jodie up. You know what I mean. So, I want you to get your ruler and mark each side, whether you work in inches or centimetres. And I want you to take a little snick out at the very top there. There's another one at one and a half centimetres. And there's another little snick out at three centimetres. I work in inches, but that's okay. I know I want three inches off these cords. Yes, I know Auntie Lizzie's only little. Anyway, I didn't invent this. I saw it. Beautiful Australian lady. So you will put your three inches on the bottom line of your cords. In your top snip, you'll get a piece of your tailor's chalk or you can use crayons, you know, because you're not going to see it. The first two markings I want you to do in the one colour. So that's on the line you want it turning up, centimetre and a half. The bottom line, which is the one you cut, it would be really useful if you did that in a different colour. Because it is very, very easy to cut the wrong line. When you do cut it, don't go in and straight up to the line like this because if you make a mistake and you cut it in the round so you'll put your scissors in where the white line is or whatever color you choose to do at the bottom cut on that line and then you can put your scissors in there and you can start working in the round because if you do make a mistake and it's cut in a nice little hoop like this. You can stitch it back on again. Right. When you stitch it, if you stitch it from the inside here, because there's more fabric to move there, it'll rope and it won't lie flat like the original hem does. So... Put this under your machine to start with and put a little bit of frog tape or something like that on your machine and it will mark where the bottom of the jean is to where the centre of the needle is, which is where it's going to stitch because we're doing the same size hem. So when you've, when you've cut it off, you'll fold it to the first line so you can see it between your fingers. Then you'll fold it to the second line, right on the line. So if you have marked it with something that might be permanent, it's not going to show as long as it's not black on white or something because that bit's going to be pointing at the floor. Right, you'll also notice that little thing has got holes in it. That's because some sewing machines, when they get to that lumpy seam, which is in the middle here, they have a job getting over it. So we cut that out. So you'll put your folded and your pin seam you see, it's folded and I've pinned it for you, but you, when you get used to doing this, you don't really need to pin it. You see, there's your blue line, the white line you've cut off, and there's your other little blue line. So this is right side out now. Start, if you can, on the inside seam, because that way you won't be able to see any ends of cotton 
that you might come across. So we're going to go in. Let me just check this is on. Yeah. I'm not going to stitch this all because I can't see it without the light on, but it doesn't work when I've got the video running. So my cords are now up against that little piece of gaffer tape. And I've also got a jeans foot in because otherwise it might just break when it gets to that hard lump. So cords up to the gaffer tape, put your needle in, very carefully stitch up to that line, that lump I told you about. Machines don't like going over lumps, so it said, I'm not going any further. Needle down, bring your presser foot up. These little gashes out the back are going to go in behind the presser foot up to that lump. And then you can put your press foot down. Let me see if I can give you a bit closer. You see? It's gone up to that lump. Lift your presser foot, your needles down, pop that in there. So when you start to stitch, it will glide more easily over that lump, she says. <laughs> there we go. Nice and slowly. When you get to the other side of the lump, needle down again, press the foot up, take your pin out. And because it's got the holes in it, you can do one or two stitches when you put it in the front, just to bring it gently over that lump till it clears it. Don't have to speed this up, just take your time. Out it comes. Line your cords up to your green gaffer tape again and just carry along your way. And this is actually one of my very favourite jobs to do when I need my jeans turning up on my cords. Love you lots, blue beauties. Hope that helps. Oh, I'll show you how I did this Moses basket. Isn't it beautiful? I had to unpick the old one. And it's got the dog on it. Because I did it for my lovely little Max. Because they've got a grand dog. My canine therapist. See you soon. Bye. Love you.